Hey everyone, how's it going? So, when Paldi Revolt came out, I did an update binder on my Scarlet Violet set, and I know it's been a little while since Obsidian Flames actually came out, but you know, we were at Worlds, stuff like that. So, thought it was time to do the update on my Paldia Evolved set, see exactly where I am at. Now, it's a little bit more empty in certain places than my Scarlet Violet base set, just because, you know, it's a much bigger set, there are a lot more things to hit, but we'll go over that in a bit more detail in a moment. Starting out with the Reverse Hollow Binder, it's kind of the boring binding, there's no variants and cool stuff at the end, but as you can see, I do keep the extra... EXs just to fill the gaps so the numbering is right and as we go through it I believe this is totally complete this one you know it actually wasn't too bad I think just from opening everything we had we were down to missing single digit numbers of reverse hollows for both of us to have a set and then I was able to pick those up without too much difficulty so there we have reverse binder then we're going to the main the main uh, set binder for the most part looks pretty nice Pretty much everything is filled out for the main numbered set. It's only when we get to the secrets we're going to start seeing some gaps. Right. Then, yeah. So as you can see, there was a, a lot of secret rares. The illustration rares alone, there was 36 of them, which was so much more than either came before or after. Still missing quite a lot, but I got the Magikarp. Magikarp was, and I believe still is, the most expensive of the illustration rares, so nice to have that one. A lot of these are gaps where at trade days or at shows I'd be looking to try and get them. We haven't actually done a card show since this set came out. The last card show was quite a while back. We've done a toy and game show, but that tends to have less options for trade and stuff. But got a few gaps to fill in, especially around here. Got Tarantar. Tarantar's another big one. I think Raichu was the last of the big three for the illustration rares. I didn't get that one, but that was definitely down, down the bottom. And then... You know, some full arts. Got the Chen Pao, which is a nice one of the regular full arts. And then got the Iono, which is another very nice one. Then onto the special illustrations. Got a couple. And again, have the Iono for that one. That was the main reason we stopped opening product. You know, we got a lot more Paldi Revolved, but it's been better for us to sell the boxes or try and trade the boxes for what we're missing because of the fact that we've already hit the biggest stuff, you know. When you're missing the biggest card from a set, there's always the thought of, oh, maybe I could open it myself. But when the stuff you're missing, I could open a perfect box, filling in gaps that I needed, and it still wouldn't even be worth the value of the box. The only way I'd actually do well from opening a box is if I did still pull the Iono, Iono and then had to trade it off or something. So for me, there's just not much point in me doing that. I decided just to stop opening. I'll try and trade or purchase singles coming up. Anyway, golds now. Got four of them, not too bad. You know, got the Chen Pao, which is another nice one, very playable card. But again, those will be filled in soon. Then we're going to variants. Now, the variant page is a little bit weird because it does need some rearranging, but I'll talk everything through what's in here. So we have the Sprigatito Fue Coco Quaxley that came from that recent collector's chest. Those are foil variants. Uh, we have a few non-foil variants. We've got the Low Kicks, Backscalibur, Tinkerton, and Boss's Orders. I believe they all came from the pre-release kits, and then some came in other decks and stuff too. We have the Tinkerton down here, which has the GameStop logo. That's why this gap is here, because originally they announced that the Tinkerton would have the GameStop logo, and you could also get the Tinkerton at Best Buy with just the set logo, you know, like they did with the Espeon in Obsidian Flames and with um, one of the Lechonks in Scarlet Violet, but it seems as though that just hasn't happened. You know, no Best Buys ever have got them. I haven't seen anyone with an actual copy of the logo card. Um, unsure if EB Games is going to get one because of the fact that the Best Buys didn't. Um, EB Games, I'm still hoping to try and get the little chunk. I know they did get that one, but I'll also no update on if EB Games got anything from City of Flames yet. Don't know about that. But since this binder needs to be rearranged anyway, the gap's just still there. Uh, Mankey and Primeape are the Cosmos foils from the Annihilate box. Other reason the binder needs to be rearranged... That's why I hold up, lots of glare. Obviously, four of the new Trick or Trade promos would go in the set. We've got Pikachu, Miss Magis, Mimikyu, and Murkrow. Two foils, two non-foils. So I will have to rearrange the binder for that, um, but I'm going to rearrange for all of my Trick or Trade stuff together when I actually get them put on to my set lists. And then, very recent edition, there would be... There'll be two gaps here currently because... Let's steal one of Laura's cards for a second. 
Iono is a recent regionals promo. So as you can see here, the regional logo on it. This is the staff copy. This is Laura's own staff copy from when she was staffing regionals last weekend. The reason I haven't tried to pick those up yet is because I know Laura is going to be staffing another regionals, I believe next weekend as well. So she should at least get another staff copy, or she will get at least another staff copy. She might potentially get a player's copy then too. So then she would have her player's copy and we just have to get mine. So waiting waiting to see how that goes uh, and then we'll make purchases based on that afterwards but the staff and regular Ionos would go in here I'm pointing to those two but they'll be further down by the time I put the uh, trick or trades in I will also just mention again um, I don't know if actually Paldia Evolved has started showing up in prize packs yet I think prize pack series 3 might only go up to Scarlet Violet base but when I'm sorting my variants I haven't been leaving gaps for the prize pack stuff yet just because of you know it's hard to know exactly what's out there currently without all of the full checklists being official and stuff and there is it's subject for it to change later so all of my uh sword shield and scarlet violet stuff will get rearranged again in the future when we know a bit better about prize pack stuff but anyway that's it for me for today hopefully you did all enjoy seeing this and you'll be seeing my obsidian flames one probably not too much longer because i think we're barreling towards uh the next main series set i'm going to wait until the next main series set comes out i'm not going to do it when 151 comes out because i think that is literally next week so when the next main series set comes out i'll do my obsidian flames binder update and maybe a 151 binder update we'll see but hey lots more cool stuff coming on the channel some more podcasts more openings more stuff like that i'll see you again soon we would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who chooses to support the dj gigabyte channel on patreon join us to help out and get a look behind the scenes. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>